this is how the trip started versus how it's going. I was so drenched. Anyways, come to Canada with me, everybody. First thing we did was hit up some gift stores, mad Canada merch. Then we went outside to check out the falls. Next attraction was this interactive movie thing. Took some flicks with my polar bear friend. I don't know why all I could think about walking through these tunnels were the catacombs. Right now, I'm behind the falls. Real nice. After this, your girl was a little hungry. I took a picture with my moose. Then I got some pizza. Good eats moose. Now we doing syrup tasting. This concept was so foreign to me. Like I felt like I needed a pancake or waffles or something. As you can see by my face, your girl wasn't feeling it. I was feeling this candy though. I was eating all the chocolate and fudge. Threw some more catacombs. Then we saw the white waters. I feel like pictures do not do this place justice. Everybody need to come to Niagara Falls. At least once in your life. Now we getting onto a boat. So we can get up close and personal to the falls. They gave us these ponchos, but like they was playing in our face. Cause I still got drenched. At least the falls were pretty though. So I wasn't even tripping for real. We finally got off the boat. Bad water was coming out. I had to take the poncho off cause it was just making it worse. Then we headed back to the hotel. Look at the view. We was gonna do a little bit more swimming. Might as well, I was already drenched. Then we went to the flying saucer. It's like space themed. So the restaurant was a spaceship. Food was kind of mid though. Next morning, it was time to go. My time in Canada has come to an end. I made some really good memories out here. Will definitely remember for the rest of my life. You know I had to stop at Tim Hortons at least one time. So good. Anyways, guys, 